The Lower Saxony Savings Bank Foundation hosted the gala event in January 2005. The International Neurobionics Foundation marked its 10-year jubilee. Prominent guests, friends and associates of the organization were treated to an evening of culture and science. Ich freue mich Ihnen Herrn Eric Mechanic vorzustellen, meinen Begleiter, der aus Amerika kommt, aus Washington. To give the event a fitting musical accent, the organizers succeeded in attracting the renowned opera singer Hannah Fallbusch. Meine Damen und Herren, äh, wir wollen heute Abend einen gemütlichen Abend gemeinsam verbringen. Professor äh, Majid Sami äh, opened the evening with his words of welcome, then handed over the floor to Foundation Chairman Professor Klaus Görmann, who looked back on the Foundation's activities over the past 10 years, offering a wealth of interesting facts and figures. Vielen herzlichen Dank. Professor Thomas Brinker and his highly qualified staff provided fascinating insight into the projects the Foundation currently supports. With clarity and charm, they succeeded in presenting the complex processes and technologies involved in neurobionics to the amazed audience. I'd like to take this opportunity, she says, to thank you for your support and for making it possible for me to take part in such an interesting project. Thank you. I wish you an enjoyable evening. The guests listened with great concentration as experts explained their work. Along with the goals of the Foundation, immense gratitude was expressed again and again. Not least, I'd of course like to thank the International Foundation for its financial support of the project. Thank you. One of the Foundation's main goals formed the highlight of the evening, the presentation of the International Neurobionics Award. Together with his late partner, William Pobel, the Portuguese professor, João Lobo Antunes, achieved outstanding successes in the recovery of eyesight during the past year. I'd like to add my voice to that, Professor Antunes, and I also take pleasure in presenting you with a cheque for 25,000 euros, which is important for the continuation of your work. Congratulations. Wolfgang Angermann, who is blind himself, explained the significance of the development. Ladies and gentlemen, you're probably asking yourselves why I, of all people, presented this prize. It was a great honor for me. I am the director of the German Center for the Deaf Blind here in Hanover, and many deaf blind people suffer from Usher syndrome. A person affected by Usher syndrome is generally born deaf, then loses vision progressively over the course of their life. And that means that he not only loses eyesight, but also the capacity to communicate. He's suddenly unable to understand sign language because he can't see it. When it becomes possible to restore eyesight, these people will not only regain their vision, at the same time, they will also be able to communicate again. And I think that would be a success, if it can be realized, that can't be valued highly enough. And this is why I'm so glad to have the honor of presenting this prize. Words that underscore the importance of the award winner's work in a very special way. Now, in artificial organs, there are three phases. The first, 
Next. The speculation. The second is hope. And the third is promise. Speculation, hope, promise. Antunes places the status of today's research somewhere between hope and the promise of one helping all affected people. He and his partner developed a special pair of eyeglasses. By means of an integrated video camera and miniature portable computer, they succeeded in transmitting electrical signals to electrodes implanted in the blind patient's brain. The patient was able to gain an impression of his surroundings. I believe we are between hope and promise. Thank you for the An initial but crucial step and a source of great hope for all those affected. The official part of the evening came to an end with a word from the host, Thomas Mann. It's my pleasure to speak to you as host and guest at the same time. I'd like to welcome you again in the name of our Lower Saxony Savings Bank Group. We share your visions and wish to see you continue with these spectacular things and major successes. Thank you for your attention. The guests relaxed and enjoyed the festive atmosphere, and they knew their commitment to this good cause would continue in future. Here's to the next 10 years of the International Neurobionics Foundation. change to the world we're reaching out for us all it's kind of lost in the dark maybe I maybe you can find the key to the stars to catch the spirit of hope to save one hopeless heart you look up to the sky With all those questions in mind All you need is to hear The voice of your heart In a world full of pain Someone's calling your name Why don't we make it true? Maybe I, maybe you Maybe I, maybe you Maybe I, maybe you Maybe I, maybe you just dreaming sometimes But the world would be cold Without dreamers like you Maybe I, maybe you Are just soldiers In their People from the fields of medicine, politics and science have joined forces in the International Neurobionics Foundation and the Friends of the Foundation in the service of a good cause. Their interest, their contacts and financial commitment make it possible to help less fortunate people. We have achieved a great deal over the past 10 years. We've succeeded in giving new impetus to medicine, giving patients hope and making many people happy. Without you, this would be impossible. The International Neurobionics Foundation thanks you. Herzlichen Dank. Maybe I, maybe you. Maybe I, maybe you.